Hello and welcome. My name is Vanessa Lee and this is Always the Wild Ones. Um, I bought these five plants in 2019 around September. I'd just moved back from Cape Town and my apartment was looking very sterile. Um, I didn't have a lot of things in my apartment so decided to pop to Ikea and just pick up some bits and bobs and found myself obviously in that plant section which is just before you hit the tills and I got five plants so where are they now? Okay, shall we start with the first one? I think I'm just going to put images of them up because it will be just easier so I'll probably put it up here the first one I still have and she is thriving uh, it's an Echeveria, um, it's a succulent and I don't know, I found her quite easy to be honest, I really don't do very much um, with her. I probably water, I don't know, it's, <laughs> I water her when she looks a bit wrinkly. So I put them, put these five plants all together because they all have the same kind of watering habits. They all like the same amount of water, which is very little. And out of all of them, I would say that she is the thirstiest. So she will first show signs that there's not enough water, which is really cool. Um, she'll just get a bit wrinkly, I water it, and then she bounces back. Okay, so the second one <laughs> is this ivy. And I know that a lot of people say that this kind of grows like a weed, but it died in my care, I'm sorry. Um, I kind of know why it died. Um, I had it next to a window in the winter and I kept opening and closing that winter window. So uh, that might have had something to do with it. And then also I ha had a lot of heating on. So there was heat and windows and opening and closing and it just couldn't deal with it. And also didn't know about how much water it actually needed. Ivy needs a lot of water. Okay, so moving on to the second one. Um, is this beautiful orbifolia? It's a calathea. I think they still call them calatheas. Um, but yeah, orbifolia. She was my pride and joy. Oh my gosh, she got me through that pandemic. You know, the lockdown. These five plants basically kept me company. I was here alone and if it wasn't for them, I don't know what might have happened. I mean, to be honest, I don't know. But they became my little friends and the Orbifolia, oh my gosh, she spoke to me. She was so dramatic and she was the queen, you know, she didn't like tap water, not straight out of tap, no. She had to have her water left out overnight and then when I watered this plant you could literally hear it drinking. It was insane. Loved her. She then got thrips but at the time I didn't know what thrips was. I didn't even know that plants inside your home like in like indoor plants would get pests like it was beyond me so I did a kind of a bit of a Google search and people were saying people websites were saying mix some water with some um, like some liquid soap and neem which I did and as I was spraying my plant with this solution I was thinking in my head I was thinking She's going to hate this. Water being sprayed on her leaves, like, I don't know, with soap. Oh. And yeah, I remember kind of like rubbing it on, like trying to do it really gently, but like literally the next day this plant was destroyed. Like she just never perked back up and she died. So yeah, that was quite sad. And that was probably the first time where 
I was actually really, I was really sad to lose a plant. Like I've had plants in the past and I've had plants where I've had them one minute and then they've disappeared. I don't know what happened to them. I think my mum may have snuck around and took them because I travelled a lot. So, um, okay, that's that plant. So, the what number are we on now? The fourth plant. Um, what was the fourth plant? Oh, my Dracaena. Oh my gosh, this plant is the hardiest plant. My apartment gets really sunny and I didn't realise how fast this plant would grow. It grew double its size throughout the summer. So, and my ceilings are quite low. I live in a loft apartment. So I decided to, I don't know, I decided to cut her up. And I, I have her at the moment. So I'll put a photo here. She is currently just in plain water and I'm really loving this aesthetic. So I kind of like the fact that she's just growing in water and hoping that she'll kind of like start bending like this, but we'll see. I think if I start moving her in different parts of the apartment where the light is on, gonna shine on her in different ways, she'll start bending maybe in the summer. For now, she's in my hallway. And then the fifth plant, so hang on, we started with my Echeveria, Ivy, Rubifolia, my Dracaena, what was my fifth plant? Well, I mean, it's clearly not here, <laughs> whatever the plant was, what was it? What was my fifth plant? Um, oh, she made that much of an impact on me that I can't even remember what this plant was. Oh, I do. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll put a photo here. It was that moonstone, that succulent moonstone. I love this plant. I love the way it looks, but couldn't get it through the winter. It just, I don't know. I just couldn't get the watering right. It showed signs that it needed water. It got wrinkly. I watered it. It got more, it kind of just became, I guess looking back now, I think what had happened is I had overwatered it. It got wrinkly because maybe the roots had started rotting and so the roots weren't even absorbing any water at that stage. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, I think that's what happened. Anyway, so that, those are the five plants um, that I first had. And I do know that if I had some of them again, I would probably do better. I don't know actually, I can't really guarantee that, can I? <laughs> um, do I want any of these plants back? I would never get ivy, not inside my home again. I find that they are a little thrip. I've tried again, I've had an ivy before, um, prior, since then. Um, and I think it's a bit of a thrip magnet, because once I got rid of it, thrips no longer were around. I just saw something fly past me. Paranoid. <laughs> um, I really miss that Orbifolia. She was gorgeous. Um, but I don't think I'd get another Calathea. I've kind of sworn off Calatheas. Sworn myself off them. I do have some. I've got some Marantas and they're struggling as well. Just trying to get them through winter really. Um, it can be quite testing. Anyway, I'm going to end the video now. Thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you here again soon. If you enjoyed what you saw, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you have any questions, just leave those in the comments below. I'm going to look forward to reading through them. Okay, bye! And this is a little way. Let's talk about today. I'm going to be talking about tricks and I'm going to do with my Echeveria. Oh, I hate.
hate that. 